The 1.5 update has added a ton of fun new items for us to buy and introduce into our farm. But the only way to get these items is through a new form of currency called Key Gems that you can only get by doing top special order requests. And some of these items are kind of expensive and it can be a little bit hard to choose which items to buy in the beginning and which are just not that good. So in this video, I will be going every new item that can be purchased from Mr. Q's golden walnut room. Hopefully I can help you choose which items you might want to buy and which you can skip to save those precious key gems. Alrighty, let's get started. So first, I will chat about the Junimo chest. This is an interesting item and I was pretty excited when I first saw it. The Junimo chest shares its inventory with every other Junimo chest placed around the world of Stardew Valley. This means you can place a chest in front of the Skull Cavern and another at your farm. Then you can access food easily or place ore in the chest and access it from the chest on your farm. There are probably other fun useful ways to use this chest as well, but it has one limitation. It isn't the size of a regular chest. It only has 9 slots. Which isn't bad, but it is somewhat limiting. You can buy 2 Junimo chests for 30 key gems. And I probably won't buy more than 2 since every Junimo chest shares the same inventory. So even if you have 100 of these, they will only get you 9 slots of space to use. Next up is the horse flute and let me tell you, it is amazing! It is a very simple item, it basically just summons your horse to wherever you are. But this means you can use your horse on Ginger Island, which is kind of a big deal because once you get used to the speed of running around with a horse, you cannot go back. Before this update, one of the most popular mods was actually a horse flute and that mod was so popular, the developer decided to add it to the game. It is kind of expensive to purchase the horse flute as it costs 50 key gems to purchase but it is worth it, you will not regret it. Puri's missing stock list. This is another interesting one. It is kind of useful, I guess. Once you purchase this, you can give it to Puri and then he will sell any crop no matter what season it is. I think there is some value in this, especially since we can grow any crop on our ginger island farm no matter what season it is. But since it costs 50 key gems, it is a little bit pricey in my opinion. Ah, uh, the hopper. I would probably suggest not getting the hopper until you got everything else you need from this list. The hopper is kind of useful, it might save you some time, but it doesn't live up to our expectations unfortunately. At least it only costs 10 key gems, but I think it's only useful if you have a bunch of them, so you should probably buy the recipe instead and it costs 50 key gems. Pretty expensive and hard to validate. You can check out my full video on the hopper if you want to learn more about how moderately useful it is. This update added upgrades that you can put on your sprinklers and the upgrades are so good in my opinion. There are two upgrades. First, the enricher. When you place an enricher on your sprinkler, you can then click on it to place fertilizer into the enricher. And then when you plant your crops within the range of the sprinkler, it will automatically apply the fertilizer, thereby saving you some time. It's not a bad upgrade, but the other one is just so much better. The next sprinkler upgrade is the pressure nozzle. Now this is an upgrade. It will increase the range of your sprinklers by one in each direction, meaning you can save a ton of space and you won't have to make as many sprinklers to cover the same amount of land as you would have needed to previously. With the regular iridium sprinklers, you would usually place them 5 tiles apart. If you use the upgraded sprinklers, you can place them 7 tiles apart. And trust me, that makes a huge difference. And the best part about the sprinkler upgrades is that it only costs 20 key gems and you get Four of them! Four! So I would definitely get some pressure nozzles early on. I think it was actually my first purchase when I unlocked the walnut room. 
Next up is the deconstructor. And if you are not new to my channel, you know I love this thing. The deconstructor will deconstruct items you place in it. And then it will give you the raw resources that was used to craft that item. It has uses for deconstructing items you have crafted and no longer need. But what makes it really good is deconstructing it for resources from items you purchased, like staircases. Deconstructing staircases can get you 99 stone each. There are so many other things you can buy and then deconstruct for raw materials, like grass totters for fiber and fishing tackle for copper and iron bars. The deconstructor does cost 20 key gems each, so it isn't cheap, but it is so worth it. I have like 10 of these. The next item is a key to the tower. It costs 20 key gems to buy and it will allow you to enter anyone's home at any time of the day. This has some uses. For example, often the shopkeepers will already be at the counter so you could purchase stuff earlier, but you can't enter people's rooms if you are not friends with them. The Galaxy Soul should probably be one of your first targets to purchase. It costs 40 key gems, so it's not cheap, and you will need three of them to actually make use of them. Combining three galaxy souls with a galaxy weapon in the forge will upgrade it to an infinity weapon. And they are definitely much stronger. So save up those key gems and get that infinity weapon. The damage output of the infinity blade and the infinity gravel is insane and will help you a lot in dangerous versions of the mines and the skull cavern. It will cost you a total of 120 key gems. So start farming those key gems and get that OP weapon. At least the next item is much cheaper. It only costs 5 key gems and it's a seed, a mushroom tree seed. If you aren't lucky and you didn't get a random mushroom tree on your farm, you can just buy a seed and plant it wherever you want. I actually love this addition to the game because now you can place the mushroom tree exactly where you want it on your farm. Another very cheap item you can buy at the walnut room is magic bait. It only costs 5 key gems and will give you 20 magic bait. So it works out pretty cheap and the magic bait is actually pretty useful. It will allow you to catch any fish no matter what season it is and even allows you to catch night fish during the day. And you can catch fish that would normally only be bound when it's raining. I used it to catch the legendary glacier fish in the summer. This legendary usually only spawns in winter and here I am catching it in summer using magic bait. Nice. The magic bait will really help out those players trying to catch every single fish in the game. It's important to know that you can buy 20 bait for 5 key gems, or you can buy the recipe to craft as many as you need for 20 key gems. I think it's usually better to just buy the recipe. Now, one of my favorite items on the list, keys seasoning. This stuff is amazing. It is expensive and you cannot buy the recipe to craft it. It costs 10 key gems and you will only get 10 key seasonings. Cooking any food in the fridge using key seasoning will buff the food's health and energy gain. But wait, there's more. It will also increase the potency of skill buffs. For example, if you crafted some ginger ale, it will give you plus one luck. But if you crafted ginger ale using key seasoning, it will give you plus two luck instead, making it pretty important if you want to get the maximum amount of luck possible. Unfortunately, the potency buff does not work on the speed buff. Otherwise, we would probably be faster than the horse. One of the last items you can get is the recipe to craft a heavy tapper. It costs 20 key gems and costs 30 hardwood and one radioactive ore to craft. It is almost identical to the regular tapper. It just produces resin and syrups twice as fast. It has its use specifically if you want to craft a lot of honeydew or pine tar. Each tapper is the equivalent of two regular tappers, meaning it can save you some space on your farm. You can also buy Mr. Key's hat for 5 key gems, a giant fish tank that you can place in your house, and put fish inside, and an exotic double bed. These items are just fun and decorative pieces. You can get them if you want to, but the other items are just much more important and fun to use. You can buy the recipe to craft Hyperspeed Grow for 30 key gems. This will make your crops grow 33% faster. And you can buy Deluxe Fertilizer for 20 key gems. And that will increase the chance of getting higher quality crops. 
I don't often use fertilizers when I play Stardew, but if you're into that, you can buy them here. There is one last item you can purchase, and that is a golden egg. You can hatch the golden egg to get a golden chicken. You can only purchase this item if you have achieved 100% perfection in the game. Unfortunately, I am bad at making friends, so I can't buy this just yet. But maybe one day, it will cost you 100 key gems. But at that point in the game, it's just a novelty fun thing to have. And that brings us to the end of the video. So which of these are your favorite? For me, it's hard to choose. I really like the horse flute, the key seasoning, and the galaxy soul, of course. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.